In other news tonight, Rosindo Rodriguez's attorney is trying everything to stop his execution tomorrow. Today, his attorney went all the way to the Supreme Court to file a motion for a stay of execution. Rodriguez was convicted in 2008 of murdering 29-year-old Summer Baldwin, who was pregnant at the time. Rodriguez also confessed to murdering 16-year-old Joanna Rodriguez and Rodri excuse me, Joanna Rogers in 2004. Summer's mother now lives in New Mexico and tells KCBD she plans on attending tomorrow's execution. KCBD News Channel 11's Shaley Sanders has more on the search that led to her daughter's killer. In September 2005, Lubbock landfill workers made a gruesome discovery. We've locked the landfill down. It's uh, restricted and will be until we're through processing the crime scene. Stuffed inside a suitcase buried amongst the garbage, workers found 29-year-old Summer Baldwin, Yuva Robach's only child. She was just a, a really happy person, and she deserved to live. You know, she shouldn't have had her life cut short. A universal product code in the suitcase led detectives here. Attention to detail is what really started this ball rolling and trying to find ways to follow through with uh, identifying uh, some of the information off the luggage. Walmart surveillance video showed Rosindo Rodriguez III buying a suitcase and latex gloves. I, I would imagine that most people thought when a young lady's found at the landfill uh, that the chances of getting that case solved were going to be uh, fairly slim. And here we are less than, you know, 48 hours later, uh, we have a, uh, a suspect in custody. Rosindo was a Texas Tech graduate living in San Antonio. He was in the Marine Corps Reserves and visiting Lubbock for his monthly training. As investigators began to question their suspect, a confession. Now, I'm just going to make these movements. It's not going to be sudden. Right? That's fine. All right. Just got that. This. Rosendo claimed he and Summer began so to argue. Hold, she pulled out a pocket hold, knife sorry. and in self-defense, he strangled your, her. You know, you say you're in control enough to control your own temper and your own actions, but yet you say you're so out of control that you don't know what to do. You don't know how to give CPR even though you've been trained to do that. Uh, when I looked down at her, you know, her face is covered in blood. I, I didn't want to put, you know, my mouth, you know, on her, on, on her. And over her mouth, I, I just didn't think to do it. Okay. And yet, I was panicking at that point. Okay. But you had had sex with her just minutes before, correct? Yes, sir. An autopsy report revealed Summer was severely beaten. Cause of death, blunt force trauma, and asphyxiation. He put Summer in that suitcase while she was still alive. So she suffocated. How horrible. That must be it. And so he is just a, a horrible, horrible person. That night, Robach not only lost her daughter, but her grandchild as well. Summer was pregnant. She came over here uh, right before uh, her death, and uh, she was already showing, and we went around and was kind of looking at baby clothes. Rosindo said after strangling Summer, he put her body in the suitcase and then in a dumpster. I panicked about, you know, uh, my career in the military, uh, how it would have, you know, I just panicked. I, 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 I can't, I don't know how I was to explain it. Would it be fair to say that uh, you had stopped panicking when you were watching Star Wars Monday evening? Uh, I bought the movie just to, you know, just to watch, but I really didn't, really wasn't paying attention to the night. Okay. Would it be fair to say that you had stopped panicking when you went down to the ATM and got money and went and bought lunch that Monday? Oh, yes, sir. I mean, okay, so at that point you would stop panicking. Now, Robach only gets to hear Rosendo's side of the story about what happened the night he took her daughter's life. And while she has Summer's ashes, she says she will never have closure because you know she's gone and we miss her every day shaley sanders kcbd news channel 11. kcbd news channel 11 has a crew in huntsville right now we'll bring you live updates tomorrow